While being a Sigma comes with its own set of frustrations, there are also some everyday things that can really get under a Sigma male's skin. These seemingly mundane occurrences may seem insignificant to others, but they can cause major annoyance for Sigma men. Even though they are seen as laid-back and easygoing, there are certain things that can really test their patience. Here are 10 ordinary things that all Sigma men would agree they hate. Number 1. Being told what to do without a valid reason. Sigma men don't take kindly to being dictated to without any justification. It's like someone suddenly turning off the TV in the middle of an exciting match. It's infuriating and simply doesn't make sense. They are the captains of their own ships, the authors of their own tales. They are not the kind to blindly follow orders, especially when the commands seem random. They believe in logic, reason, and purpose. When they're ordered around without any clear explanation, it feels like a blatant disregard for their intelligence and independence. It's as if someone is trying to fit them into a mold, a mold they have no intention of fitting into. It's about the respect for their autonomy and their need to understand the why behind the what. Just as one wouldn't throw random strokes on a canvas without a vision, Sigma men won't accept orders without a valid reason. Without a clear purpose, any command feels like a pointless diversion from their chosen path, causing nothing but irritation for these self-motivated individuals. It's not about being disobedient or rebellious. It's about the need for a solid foundation to build upon. They are not afraid of following orders. They just want those orders to come with a logical explanation behind them. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time and energy for everyone involved. Number 2. Incompetent Authority You know the old saying, with great power comes great responsibility. Well, the Sigma man really takes that to heart. Authority should be a source of guidance and a cornerstone of wisdom. So when he encounters an incompetent authority figure, it's like a slap in the face. How can someone with so much power be so incompetent? Where's the accountability and responsibility? It's not that they have a problem with authority itself. They have a problem with incompetence. They believe that those in positions of power should be capable, knowledgeable, and responsible. Dealing with incompetence at the top is incredibly frustrating for Sigma men. It's not just an inconvenience. It's a lack of respect for a well-functioning system. True leadership demands vision, expertise, and informed decision-making. When they don't see these qualities in authority figures, it's not just disappointing, it's infuriating. So this aversion to incompetent authority isn't rebellion. It's a desire for a more efficient and capable world. Incompetent authority is like an anchor dragging them down, hindering progress and stifling growth. It's no wonder why Sigmas often prefer to work independently or in small self-directed teams. Number 3. Overly Emotional People Dealing with overly emotional people can be like walking on eggshells, constantly trying to avoid triggering an emotional outburst. These people let their feelings flow like an uncontrollable river, spilling over in every conversation and situation. This can be like navigating a turbulent sea in a tiny boat, an exhausting and never-ending journey. It's not that Sigma men are emotionless. They just prefer to have control over their emotions and express them in a measured and rational manner. They don't understand those who let their feelings rule their actions as it goes against everything they stand for. It's one thing to be empathetic and understanding, but it's another to let emotions cloud judgment and lead to impulsive decisions. Emotions should be managed and kept in check, not the driving force behind every action. Sigma men experience emotions just as intensely as anyone else, but they choose to deal with them in a more reserved way. Number 4. People who talk incessantly. Few things are as exasperating for Sigma men as those who talk incessantly. It's like being trapped in a room with a blaring television that you can't switch off. These chatterboxes seem to have an endless reserve of chatter, not pausing to take a breath, and barely giving you a chance to process one statement before they're off to the next. They fill every silence with noise, every pause with a new sentence, every second with their voice. 
And for Sigma men who value their peace and quiet, this constant barrage of words is a sensory overload. They are the types who appreciate meaningful deep conversations. They prefer a few well-chosen words over a waterfall of aimless prattle. Sigma men value silence and appreciate the significance of a thoughtful pause. However, dealing with someone who talks incessantly feels like a never-ending gong, interrupting and disturbing any chance of reflection. This constant chatter doesn't just rob them of their peace, but it also feels like a waste of their time. It's like someone constantly knocking at the door when you're trying to work. It's an unwelcome distraction that breaks your concentration and productivity. Number 5. Feeling guilty for procrastinating. Everyone procrastinates from time to time. It's a universal experience. But for a Sigma, it's like a thorn in his side. He is a self-driven individual, always striving to use his time wisely to grow, to learn, and to advance. So when he finds himself stuck in a loop of procrastination, it feels like he is betraying his own goals. It's like a professional sprinter choosing to crawl in a race. They know they can do better. They should do better. It's not simply about wasting time. It's about the lost opportunities and the unutilized potential. When Sigma men procrastinate, they can't shake off the feeling of letting themselves down. It's a nagging guilt, a silent self-rebuke that sits heavy on their conscience. It's like having a stern coach inside their head continually reminding them of the clock ticking away. It's not about the fear of judgment from others, but the disappointment they feel in themselves. It's about their own high standards and their passion for growth. And that's what makes procrastination an unpleasant experience for Sigma males. Number six, repeating the same thing over and over again. Sigma men thrive on individuality, originality, and progression. And the act of repeating the same thing over and over again can be an impossible frustration. It's like being stuck in an endless loop, circling the same track while longing for new terrain. This isn't about mere impatience or hate for routine. It's about the thrill of exploration, of breaking new ground, of pushing boundaries. The Sigma man is an innovator at heart, a discoverer. Stagnation is not in his nature. He's not a hamster in a wheel mindlessly spinning in circles. He's a wolf, constantly exploring new territories and discovering his own path. The world might see his restlessness as a quest for novelty, but he knows it's not about novelty. It's about growth. It's about venturing into the unknown, about pushing the envelope, about challenging the status quo. So when he's forced to repeat the same thing over and over again, it's not just monotony, it's a cage, and a Sigma can never truly thrive in captivity. Whether it's in work, relationships or personal growth, repetition and stagnation are the ultimate frustrations for Sigma. Number 7. Conflicts instead of logical discussions. Sigma males really prioritize logic above everything else. It can be quite frustrating when conflicts arise and instead of having calm, structured, and logical discussions, there's just a whole lot of emotional chaos going on. Imagine being in an outburst-filled room when you expected a chess-like strategic discussion. That's how it feels for them. It's like being in a boxing match when you were prepared for a debate club. It's highly frustrating when emotions take the wheel and logic gets shoved to the backseat. Sigma men prefer meaningful and productive discussions, free from emotional biases or personal attacks. They value rationality and objectivity, and conflicts driven by emotions only hinder reaching a logical resolution. It's like trying to solve a complex mathematical equation while someone keeps throwing random numbers into the mix. They believe conflicts should be tackled with composure and reason, not aggression. It's not about avoiding conflicts altogether. It's about handling them in a mature, logical manner. This preference for logic and reason also extends to their relationships. These men value open and honest communication built on mutual respect and understanding. They don't want to engage in pointless arguments or drama. They prefer to have mature discussions that lead to growth and progress. Conflicts should be opportunities for learning and improvement, 
not just a means to vent emotions. Number 8. Alone Time Interruptions Alone time for Sigma males isn't just a preference, it's a necessity. It's like their personal pit stop, a place to recharge and reinvigorate, away from the world's noise and chaos. When this time is interrupted, it's like being pulled out of a deep sleep. It breaks their concentration and disrupts the flow of their thoughts. It's a frustrating and jarring experience, especially for these introverted guys who rely on their alone time to recharge their energy. Whether it's an unexpected visit from a friend or a last-minute work assignment, any interruption of their alone time can throw them off balance and leave them feeling agitated. It's not about being antisocial or hating company. It's about the value they attach to their solitude. For Sigmas, solitude is not an escape from the world, but a return to self, and any disruption to this is nothing short of annoying. Number 9. Being Touched by Strangers Sigma men possess a clear understanding and respect for personal space, their own as well as others. While they may not flinch from a touch of friendship from a known person, unsolicited physical contact from strangers instantly raises their eyebrows. It's like crossing an invisible line, a violation of boundaries that triggers a strong sense of discomfort. It's not about being touch-averse per se, but about the respect and understanding of the personal bubble. A nudge in a crowded subway is understandable. A pat on the back from an acquaintance or a hug from a friend is welcomed. But anything beyond that, especially from someone they don't know, feels intrusive and unwelcome. It's like having their personal space invaded by uninvited guests. These men value their independence and autonomy, and any form of unsolicited touch makes them feel like their boundaries are being crossed. Number 10. People who don't respect personal boundaries. Respecting personal boundaries is a fundamental principle, something Sigma men consider non-negotiable. Overstepping these boundaries is nothing less than an audacious invasion of their space, the equivalent of someone barging into a private meeting uninvited. It's not about being secretive or antisocial. It's about respecting personal space and privacy. These men find it irritating when people can't grasp the concept of personal boundaries, whether it's in physical or emotional terms. It could be a colleague who won't stop peeking over their shoulder, a friend who refuses to give them space, or even a family member who constantly pushes for personal details they are not comfortable sharing. These intrusions can leave Sigma men feeling drained, as if their boundaries have been violated without their consent. It's like having a do not disturb sign outside your door, but people keep ignoring it and barging in. While they can tolerate a certain level of intrusion in public spaces, nothing irritates them more than people who blatantly disregard personal boundaries. It's a clear sign of disrespect and lack of consideration, something Sigma men cannot tolerate. 